No. Uh -huh. This is a good time though. Beautiful they time. You have Q here. Oh my God. Hanging out with B <laughs> is like hanging out with your favorite aunt. Yep. Yeah, hanging out with your it. favorite mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. She got that glow. She made of sugar and gold. She's my melon in my row. She's my melon in my row. Fly and she knows that I am feeling her soul. She's my melon in my row. My, my melon in my row. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Melanie Monroe. Another day, more YouTube drama. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is about the Eat With Q versus Be Love situation. Um, Q decided to make a video and upload it saying it that apparently this is her last time addressing the situation. And she had a lot of things to say. She kind of threw her sister under the bus, but... Let's just get into the video. Hi everybody. I would like to take the time to apologize to the mukbang community. I aired my grievances out for the world to see and it was completely inappropriate. It should have been handled in private and for that I am truly sorry. The mukbang community is supposed to be happiness, joy, whatever that does for you. And I'm truly sorry for disrupting our flow. I would also like to take the time to apologize to the mukbangers. Uh, you guys were blindsided. You had no idea what was going on. You didn't know whose side to be on. You didn't know what, you, you just were so confused, as was I. So I truly apologize for that. To the family, I would like to apologize for the offensive things that I said, hurtful things. I, I'm truly, truly sorry. I should have came to you in private and discussed my concerns, my grievances. It was completely immature of me to do that and I'm truly sorry for that. However, I, I stand by what I said. My feelings are my feelings. I felt what I felt and I stand by that 100%. I also would like to take the time to apologize to my amazing cutie cues. You guys did not deserve that, and I'm so sorry. I can promise you that it will never happen again. This was a valuable lesson learned. If you are coming up in the mukbang community, if you are starting YouTube, period, whatever it is that you're trying to do, this is not the route that you, you want to take. This is not fun. This, is, it, this takes a lot of humility. I had to put my pride to the side. I had to, you know, expose myself as, you know, and I, and I made a mistake. And I'm very sorry. I hope you guys can find it in your heart to forgive me. If you if you can't, I, I respect that. But if you will, I truly appreciate it. I'm not perfect. I made, a, I made a big mistake. I'm a good person who made a mistake. And I'm truly, truly sorry. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. But like I said, if you can't, I totally understand. I am working to rebuild the trust of my cutie cues. I know I let you guys down. You told me that you, I did. And I'm very, very sorry. I also want to apologize to my family. I want to apologize to my family because my family was so confused. Nobody knew. And I'm so sorry to my family. My sister, I, I never meant to put you out there like that or make you look any type of way. I'm very, very sorry. So I hope you guys can take take listen to what I said. I'm coming from a very sincere place. I appreciate you all. I thank you so much. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful night. You know, apology video looks really bad. The reason why I deleted that apology video is because I felt pressured into making it in the first place. After my sister made her video, everyone, I was bombarded with people telling me that I should make an apology video because my sister had just did one. But that wasn't truly what I felt. Um, I understand that everybody is upset with me. Everybody's making videos. They're mad. And they are coming up with their own opinion. They are, you know, making me out to be a liar. Um, someone who's mentally ill. Just, just mean, terrible, vile things that I've seen about myself, which are completely untrue. I admit my wrongs. I was 100% wrong for being emotional. The last collabs that I did, I was so excited 
that I had an amazing experience because the previous one was the complete opposite and I kept going back and forth in my mind thinking that was I tripping? Am I bugging out? Did I not experience this? Did I experience this? I know what I experienced. I know what I felt. I didn't make up anything. I didn't perceive anything the wrong way. I did not. I told the truth, 100%. I told the truth about my experience. I understand how it, I, I look bad right now. I understand all those things, but I'm not here to convince you of the truth. I'm not here to, you're gonna believe what you wanna believe at the end of the day. I'm sorry to everybody that this has affected. I'm sorry that to everybody who is upset, who is disappointed, who feels some type of way. I'm very sorry about that. But I know in my heart what I felt. And nobody can tell me how I felt. No one can tell me that I am wrong from my experience. Nobody's gonna sit up here and tell me that I, I'm lying about what I went through. Oh my God. Hanging out with B <laughs> is like hanging out with your favorite aunt. Yeah. Hanging yeah, out with your it. favorite mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. You are just so fun to be around. Oh. Yeah. But you are just so fun to be around. Oh, thank you. I'm having the time of my life. Yes. Please don't let this be the last oh, time. Oh girl, let's take a laugh. You promise? Girl, you know. <laughs> My channel has been through throughout this entire journey of my channel. I have been lifting everybody who watches me up. I have never, my channel has never been about drama. My channel has never been about shading anybody or being jealous of anybody or anything like that. And it's always been to encourage people. And it's always been to tell people to stand up for what they believe in. It has always been about believing in yourself when nobody else believes in you. And I understand that the world is against me right now, but God is for me. Again, I'm sorry to anybody that this has affected in a negative way. But I love myself. I love my family. I love my supporters, my beautiful cutie cues. I believe in you. I understand that you're upset right now. I believe in you. I understand that you're upset right now. But I cannot go back on my word. Beautiful time. I have Q here. Oh my God. Hanging out with B <laughs> is like hanging out with your favorite aunt. Yeah. yeah hanging out amazing. with your favorite <laughs> sister. Mm -hmm. You are just... So fun to be around. Oh, thank you. I'm having the time of my life. Yes. Please don't let this be the last oh, time. Oh, girl. I cannot. I stand on everything I said. I don't care what my sister said. I'm not going to fold. I'm not going to fold under pressure. I'm not going to let anybody manipulate my mind. When I know what I experienced, oh, thank you. I'm having the time of my life and I know what I felt. A lot of you guys are making videos and you weren't there. You have no it's idea. Too late to apologize. It's too late. I don't know guys, comment down below how you feel. Do you feel like this was just a cover up to try to get her subscribers back up? Do you feel like this is a sincere apology? Or do you feel like she's still in the wrong and she should just disappear off YouTube for a while? Are you going to stay subscribed to her channel? Mm, I feel like it's, I call BS. I feel like she's bogus for throwing her sister under the bus. Her boyfriend, I don't even know what the hell he was talking about. He was just there just to be there. And she was extremely animated in this video. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time that I upload. Until next time, beautiful people. Peace.